Who doesn't like kings and queens, castles and forts, dragons and swords? Warwick Castle is one of the most exciting historic locations in Europe. Set in the heart of Shakespeare's England, with over 1100 years of fascinating architecture and amazing views in 64 acres of beautifully landscaped grounds. Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today it's another exciting day. We are at Warwick Castle. It's about 10 miles from our own home and it's about time that we paid a visit. First thing is first, you should always put a sunscreen on when it is this hot. It's the only skin product which is known to prevent cancer. So don't underestimate the power of a sunscreen. We're all covered up now and we brought our umbrella as well. So hopefully the sun's not gonna beat us today. Let's go. When you enter the Warwick Castle, the first thing that you see is the Zork Playland. Make sure that you go down there because it's a very big place to explore. Once you miss something, you just move past it and it's always difficult to turn around. Where do you remember seeing this character? He used to be a princess, now she's a doctor. Yeah! Uh-oh. Wow, you're good. Time. Which way we need to go? Now probably you need to turn this wheel. Turning it, turn around, turn around. Now start your maze journey. It says no entry. Oh. Are you stuck? Yes. <gasps> you made the dragon roar. Let's try another one. Oh, that was a very small roar. What about this one, Doubt? Maybe this would be the loudest roar. What about the last one? <laughs> that was an amazing roar. Can you do it again? Wow. Let's see what other adventures are waiting for us. So the family is having fun all by themselves. Where have you guys been? Extra ice cream shop. Ice cream shop? You want to buy some ice cream, Javeria? Now, which ice cream would you like to buy? All right, let's have a look. A little respite in this intense scorching heat with some cold drinks and ice cream. Everyone is having a good time. So all these towers are connected through pathways and you can walk from one tower to another one 
and enjoy the view. How the tower looms overhead tells us the story of its magnitude. Now look, this is a sign of Holy Trinity, uh, the sign of Christianity. And what they used to do was they would put their head here, aim on the enemy with their arrows. And once they've shot the arrows and it's time for the enemies to ret retaliate, they would just hide behind and the arrows will miss them. So this is how they used to work and defend their castles. What is this boy doing? Because if the enemy is far away, they can shoot them with an arrow. With the sword, you can only fight when the enemy is near. This looks like now the key ring. So now these are like uh, monuments and memoirs. Extremely beautiful experience with the dungeons. They have created that 1700, 1800th century feel with spooky, eerie light. I think kids learned a bit about history and we enjoyed the cool that comes while you're underground. Myself worthy. That life of chivalry. 
came her life from the forest. No! Oh my god, that's a dream. I was supposed to be like that. We're reunited forever. Wow! Fireworks! across the world. Wow! Why are you getting so many celebrations, boys? We're happy. Wow. 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 Wow.